uh, we all know that uh, firewood is uh, very cheap right and lpg definitely very expensive compared to firewood but still uh, why is lpg preferred over wood for cooking i mean if you're saving money was if saving money was the only goal wouldn't everyone just stick to firewood question right there's got to be more to it right let's find that out all right uh, let's imagine that you have been asked to boil some quantity of water and you have three uh, fuel options you have the old school uh, cow dung then you have coal as an option and as last one maybe you have lpg as well now which fuel do you prefer I mean, is that even a question? When you have cow dung, coal, and LPG Epson option, you would totally go for LPG, right? Why is that? Why is that? Well, it's simple. It's because the amount of heat produced by the burning of one kg of LPG is way, 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 way more than what you get from maybe heat generated by one kg of cow dung or the heat generated by one kg of coal. This heat energy that's produced when one kg of fuel burns completely is called its calorific value. It basically tells us how much energy is like packed into each kilogram of the fuel. So yeah, one kg of LPG, cow dung and coal might not weigh the same, but they definitely, definitely don't give you the same amount of energy when burned. The higher the calorific value, the more energy you get. Pretty straightforward, right? And uh, the va this value is measured in kilojoules per kilogram kilojoules being the energy I mean, uh, unit of heat and per kilogram how much uh, heat is there. Let's break this down with some real numbers to see how this whole calorific value thing actually plays out. Uh, just for reference, the amount of heat energy required to boil 1 kg of water is 2257 uh, kilojoules. Well, let's keep that number in mind. It will help us get a sense of how effective different fuels are. Alright, first of we have got cow dung cakes they give up around uh, 6000 to 8000 kilojoules per kg so yeah if you burn one kg of cow dung you will get that much of heat not terrible but definitely not great either uh, now let's level up to wood it gives you 17000 to 22000 kilojoules per kg that's a big jump much better than cow dung then comes coal which really steps things up with 25000 to 33000 kilojoule per kg that's a good heat output compared to cow dung and wood but wait the real real fuel <laughs> are still coming petrol kerosene diesel methane do you see these guys are in the range of 45000 to 50000 kilojoules per kg now that's some really serious energy right and then there is the star of the show if you see lpg it gives a huge 55000 kilojoule per kg that's the highest on our list if you see uh, no not highest on our list we have hydrogen on the list okay let's forget hydrogen for now it's now check this out if we compare LPG and cow dung uh, see 1 kg of LPG gives about 7 times more energy than 1 kg of cow dung so basically to get same heat from cow dung you need to burn 7 kg of it that's a lot. Same with wood. 1 kg of wood gives around 17,000 to 22,000 kg. So LPG gives almost 2 to 2.5 times more energy than that. In uh, If you talk in other words, 1 kg of LPG is roughly equal to 2.5 kg, equivalent to 2.5 kg of wood in terms of uh, heat output. That's huge. That's huge. So, uh, what is the sense that we get here? Higher calorific value is a better fuel. Why? Because higher calorific value means more heat and uh, less fuel needed. So yeah, even though LPG costs more, it's incredibly efficient. Uh, you need less fuel to get more heat, which is exactly why it's preferred choice in home. And now it totally makes sense why the government supports using LPG.